Hey folks, today I'm going to show you how to terminate our new shielded field turn plug. There are two types. I'm going to show you the straight one today. Both are category 6A and backwards compatible. So we have a straight plug and we also have a 90 degree field turn shielded plug. So right now I'll show you how to do the straight plug. Stay tuned. Hey folks, so you notice this field turn plug comes in a five pack. So you have your shielded field turn plug here. I've taken the liberty of removing one from the bag. You're going to have your shielded plug, your boot that you're going to put on first, your lacing cap, and of course a small zip tie. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on my boot. And it's a one size boot, so if you're using 6A of course, I'm going to have to trim that down a little. I'll slide my boot through the cable. I'm going to strip back about two inches of cable. And of course the instruction sheets will show you this. Next thing I'm going to do is bend my drain wire back out of the way for a moment and cut my shield back. I'm going to remove it right off of the base. Of course trim off any spline or tape that's on the inside. As flush as you can go. Next, I'll wrap my drain wire around the base of this cable. I'm going to take my lacing cap. If I look at this, there's an A and a B. Okay, the bottom row right here, green blue, is going to lace onto the top half. This top row, orange brown, actually laces through the holes. So I'm going to take my orange brown out right now. Separate like this. And what you need to do is separate your pairs. Bring them down just like that. Straighten out your leads. Some folks like to take their cable jacket like this, a little trick, and unwind it that way, whatever you're comfortable with. All right. Straighten them out. I like to cut them on an angle and slide them through the lacing cap. like so. Once you get them through, just pull it tight, like that. Now, of course, I'm going to separate my orange, I'm sorry, my green and my blue, like so. Bring that back down, I'll separate my pairs. There are little grooves inside this lacing cap to place your conductors. Of course, the last thing I'm going to do before I trim is going to check my color code. White, green, green, white. Look at that. Blue, white, blue. So always double check. One second of checking now. It saves a lot of time later. The bottom. White, orange, orange, white, brown, brown. Take your angled cutters and trim flush to the edge. like so. Now take the body of your shielded jack. You will notice there is a groove right here on this lacing cap. There's also a groove on the body of the jack. One slides into each other, you'll feel it drop into place. Now simply take your pliers and squeeze it down. At this point, you can pull off your 
color code tab and lock your jack into place. You'll notice your drain wires are touching the shield of the jack. Just like so. Bring your boot up. There is a rounded part of this boot, which will wrap around the rounded part of your jack. Like so. This little tab right here. Last thing you're gonna do is slide your zip tie through. and snug it up trim that off now remember folks this is for device side only so it's pretty hard to label so don't forget to label your cable I went ahead and printed a label wrap and I can wrap that right around here so make sure you wrap it with the proper ID number the cable ID and that folks is your shielded straight category 6a plug